or I don't know, Adenike, what's your view? Do you have to be a certain age to not be concerned about superficiality, about superficial looks and stuff? Unmute yourself first. Uh, okay, I, I think that it should, it should start with, um, like Shivani said, it has to start from the home. Okay, it is the way that you are raised most times that people are able to build on. Okay, so if if your mother, if your parents make, made you believe growing up that you have to always be beautiful on the outside, no, they use, the, if you go to uh, an average child room, you would see pictures of uh, models, you know, and in their mind, that is how I should look. If I don't look like this, then I'm not fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to wear my hair a certain way, I have to have this shape, my nose has to be like this, you know, so it starts from um, how the parents raise the children. If, they are meant, if the parents are able to help them see that, okay, look at this, look at um, your innate abilities, Okay, you can write. Your writing looks so nice. I, I think you need to teach parents to appreciate their children, you know, and shout about things that make sense in their life, you know? If your child has a beautiful handwriting, if you can, you know, oh, wow, this is nice. I like your high bulbs. They look good. You know, I like the way you sing. I like the way you talk. Your voice is cool, you know? You help them see all these attributes that are not awesome. just about them looking yeah. beautiful beautiful physically or looking like somebody else, looking like a Rihanna, okay? You always want to wake up like Rihanna and go to mm. bed like uh, <laughs> Shakira. <laughs> okay, so it starts from the parents, then the teachers should be educated. So it's not just about telling them one plus one is two. Okay, it should help those children see that beyond coming first in class, okay? There are things about you that matter, that makes a lot of sense, okay, that draws me to you. So you should not, I think one of, the school is another thing we need to deal with. Hmm. Okay, you see teachers talking down on children. Oh, can't you see your seat mate? It came first, it came last. Do you, okay, in Nigeria, I would say, do you have to end? Do you already bring your report card Oh man? Maybe you, you came fifth. You know, are you happy? Maybe you're 100 in class. Are you happy? I came fifth. You know, you get to my mom, is like, you can't fit. The person that came first, does the person have two heads? Does the person have, you know, and man, that's the end. I remember when I came second, I was in GSS. I cried. Aww. I cried home. Okay, and <laughs> the person that came first had, I can't even forget it. You know, that, this thing I'm saying is about 2003. The person that also, yeah, the person that came first got 64.8. I got 64.7. <laughs> so hardly any difference. But I cannot bring it home. I've always been first. Why would I come second? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank God I had friends that had sense. Okay, I spoke some senses into my head. But, you know, so if from the house to school, to people around you, the church, mosques, whatever religion that um, you belong to, we should find ways to help people see their value in little things and not just associate it to the physical look. Okay. Well, on that very point, so I posted an article today about a company in the UK called Primark, and um, they have come into the news again for having T-shirts for girls going, smile, be polite, be kind, do what you're told. And T-shirts for boys that say, be brave, be strong, be domineering. Literally, that is literally what's on these T-shirts in England today in 2022. So, wow. I mean, and Shivani, um, you know that in India, a lot of products for skin lightening are extremely yeah. popular yes so people aren't even happy with their color correct <sighs> i might have to stop doing this you know it's quite depressing uh, <laughs> um so okay well look we know 
that people that are likely to be abusive are about control and about power. Joseph has given us um, some tips to look out for. So pronouns using I, must, have to, these sorts of phrases. If you hear those phrases, ring the alarm bells, get away from that situation. So I guess what I want to get from each of you now, uh, we'll start with, with FIFO, is how do you take back control 